Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about hope. Before I cried out to God, I had lost all hope in everything. I was not living a life worthy of eternal life in their kingdom by any stretch of the imagination. I faltered in everything I did as nothing is sustainable but those gifts from God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. You may succeed for a bit when living in your own will for your life, but only living in God's will for your eternal life can you hope for anything sustainable. For God is all and in all. Nothing can be done but through God, through and by God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. When I started to put my faith, trust, and hope in them is when my life changed for the best in all situations. Even in my darkest, wildest storms have I been blessed. Hope abounds in them, through them, and by them alone. Hope for what is not seen will become that which you can see on their perfect timing. So with hope in their promises to you, let your faith and trust in them grow without ceasing, and live in their will for your life. When you do this, you will see their love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, corrections, glory, goodness, truth and trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness, steadfastness, forgiveness, salvation, strength and endurance, clarity and courage and calm in every situation and everything good of them come into fruition in the entirety of your life when abiding in their commands, laws, ways, words and truth. Now let's get into the scriptures. First is Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not become tired or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives strength to the weary, and to him who has no might, he increases power. Even youths grow weary and tired, and vigorous young men stumble badly. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising toward the sun. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Psalm 71, 14 through 20. But as for me, I will wait and hope, for, and hope continually, and I will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your deeds of salvation all day long. For their number is more than I know. I will come with the mighty acts of the Lord God, and in his strength I will make mention of your righteousness. Yours alone, O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I still declare your wondrous works and miraculous deeds. And even when I am old and gray-headed, O God, do not abandon me, until I declare your mighty strength to this generation, your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the height of the heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? Who is your equal? You have shown me many troubles and distresses. You who have shown me many troubles and distresses will revive and renew me again and will bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Psalms 42.11 Why are you in despair, O my soul? Why have you become restless and disquieted within me? Hope in God and wait expectantly for him, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Lamentations 3.19-25 Remember, O Lord, my affliction and my wandering, the wormwood and the gall, which is bitterness. My soul continually remembers them and is bowed down within me, but this I call to mind. Therefore I have hope. It is because of the Lord's loving kindness that we are not consumed, because his tender compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great and beyond measure is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, and I have my and my inheritance, says my soul. Therefore I have hope in him and wait expectantly for him. The Lord is good to those who wait confidently for him, to those who seek him on the authority of God's word. Lamentations 3.24 The Lord is my portion and my inheritance, says my soul. Therefore I have hope in him and wait expectantly for him. Hebrews 6.19 This hope, this confident assurance, we have as an anchor of the soul. It cannot slip and it cannot break down under whatever pressure bears upon it. A safe and steadfast hope that enters within the veil of the heavenly temple, that most holy place in which the very presence of God dwells. Hebrews 6.20 Where Jesus has entered in advance as a forerunner for us, having become a high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews 11.1-3 1 
Now, faith is, a, is the assurance, title, deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. For by this kind of faith the men of old gained divine approval. By faith, that is, with an inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power, wisdom, and goodness of God, we understand that the words, the worlds, universe, ages were framed and created, formed, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. Romans 15.13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit you will abound in hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. 1 Peter 1.3 1, Blessed, gratefully praised, and adored be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant and boundless mercy has caused us to be born again, that is, to be reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for his purpose, to an ever-living hope and confident, and confident assurance through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Romans 8, 24 and 25. For in this hope we were saved by faith, but hope, the object of which is not, the object of what is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait eagerly for it with patience and composure. Romans 5, 3 through 5. And not only this, but with joy let us exalt in our sufferings and rejoice in our hardships, knowing that hardship, distress, pressure, trouble, produces patient endurance, and endurance, proven character, spiritual maturity, and proven character, hope and confident assurance of eternal salvation. Such hope in God's promises never disappoints us because God's love has been abundantly poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Romans 15, 4 through 6. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, so that that through the endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. Now may the God who gives endurance and who supplies encouragement grant that you be of the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus, so that with one accord you may with one voice glorify and praise and honor the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 62.5 For God alone my soul waits in silence, and quietly submits to him, for my hope is from him.